All right, YouTube, I'm gonna teach you guys how to summon all three Shenrons, ready? Let's go. Open up your game, head over to the come forth tab, and then you'll see all three Shenrons listed here. So we have summon Shenron, summon Purunga, and summon Super Shenron. All right, let me break this down for you guys. So basically, you should already know if you downloaded the deluxe or ultimate version. With the deluxe version, you get a free summon with Earth Shenron. And then if you have the ultimate version of the game, you get a free wish with Earth Shenron and with Super Shenron. So with that being said, to get the regular Dragon Balls, you can uh, complete Wisa Stamp missions. So Wisa Stamp book, as you can see, the little Shenron icon here. Clearing these challenges will drop you regular Earth Dragon Balls to summon regular Shenron. You can also get regular Dragon Balls from playing CPU battles as well. There's a random drop rate. I don't know what the drop rate is, but you'll get them randomly. So just to recap, you'll already get a free summon with regular Shenron if you get the deluxe or ultimate version. And you can get these from CPU battles and from completing Wisa Stamp Book missions. Just keep in mind, if you do have a free summon that you haven't used yet, you can still collect the Dragon Balls and then summon back to back. So you have your free summon and then the summon that you uh, that you earned. OK, so then basically when you go to summon Shenron, this is what happens. So you can complete an episode battle, uh, you can get more titles, new outfits, raise your player level, or get more Zenny. I'm gonna go ahead and get more Zenny, and I think this is probably the best choice since with Zenny you can you can buy pretty much anything here. And I'm almost level 20, I'm almost at the level cap, so raising my player level wouldn't really do anything for me. So Zenny is used to buy items, you can buy uh, outfits, characters, so I would recommend going for uh, Zenny. Okay, and as you can see, we got 300,000 Zenny. And he's gone. Okay, so now we'll move on to Super Shenron. So basically, the only way that I'm aware of uh, that you can get Super Shenron wishes is by pre-ordering the game, the ultimate version only, and by completing Goku's and Trunks episode battles. I'm pretty sure that you can also get two sets of Super Shenron missions from completing Trunks' episode battle. So that's three summons with Super Shenron. When we go to summon him, this is what happens. Wait, he's talking backwards. What the hell? Okay, so the options are I want more characters. I want you to raise my player level on new outfits and I want more Zenny. And then we can also wish for ability items, idols. That's pretty much it. Um, I, I kind of want to know how much Zenny he gives me. Um, I think Zenny might be the best choice. I don't really think that any of these other options are worth going for. So unless there's like exclusive titles, exclusive abilities or exclusive outfits, I think that you should probably go for Zenny since you can buy pretty much all of those items. So I'm going to go grab Zenny from this guy real quick. So I want to see how much he gives. Oh, wow. Okay, so he gave us considerably more Zenny that time. Okay, and now finally onto Purunga. This is where it gets a little tricky. To get the Purunga Dragon Balls, the only way I'm aware of is to get them from playing CPU battles. And the drop rate is even less than regular Dragon Balls. I sat there and grinded this yesterday for I don't even know how long. It took a while to get these just grinding CPU battles, but that's the only way that I'm aware of that you can get them. Basically, the way that I did it, I chose the character with the highest attack, which would be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And if you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you can use Movie Broly, who you will get for free, actually, if you pre-order the game. And then I fought the Frieza Soldier in a CPU match. The Frieza Soldier has the lowest HP in the game. That basically made it so I was able to go through all the CPU matches as quickly as possible. Um, but honestly, it's kind of hard to escape. You just kind of have to grind it. Let's see what summoning Purunga gives us now. Okay, so it looks like a lot of these wishes just overlap. There's only one page we can't like scroll to the side for more wishes. 
uh basically he either gives you zenny uh more titles ability items or raises your player levels a lot of the wishes just overlap you can get zenny with each of them and that's probably what i would recommend like i said unless there's exclusive titles that you can only get by summoning one of them or exclusive abilities it's probably best to just go for zenny so let's see how much he gives us here so i think if i remember correctly we got oh we can summon more than once i didn't even know that Okay, I don't know what to wish for now. Um, let's go for... Let's raise my player level. I think I'm at level 19. Let's see if we can get to level 20. I don't really care for ability items. I don't really care for titles. I'll probably just go for the Zenny, to be completely honest. Okay, so we only... He gave us 24,000 in total. So he gave 120,000 for each time we wished for Zenny. So that's the difference. I didn't realize that at the time, but that's the difference. With Purunga, you get three wishes, which kind of explains why it's so hard to collect those Dragon Balls. So yeah, I hope this helped out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share all that. More Sparkling Zero content coming in the future. And peace. I'll catch you in the next video.